Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, we will configure DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. DHCP dynamically provides IP addresses, as well as information like default gateway and DNS server addresses to hosts so that each host doesn't have to be manually configured. In this lab, we will configure R1 as a DHCP server, which will provide this information to the other devices on the network. We will also configure R2 as a DHCP client on one interface and as a DHCP relay agent on another interface. Let's get started. First, I want to show that our PCs don't have IP addresses. Let's go on PC1. IP config. It has an address in the 169.254 range. This is an automatic private IP address, or APIPA. PC1 is configured to get its address via DHCP, but there is no DHCP server configured yet so this address was automatically generated. Let's get it a real usable IP address. The first step is to configure our DHCP server, R1. Enable, conf t. Let's create the first DHCP pool, IP DHCP pool 10 pool. Now we've created the pool and entered DHCP configuration mode. Now let's specify the range of addresses we will be handing out to hosts, 10.0.0.0 slash 24 in this case. Network, 10.0.0.0.255.255.255.0. Next, the default gateway. Default router, 10.0.0.1. Next, the DNS server. DNS server, 10.0.0.1. Note that I haven't actually configured a DNS server in this lab. I just wanted to show that command. Finally, a range of excluded addresses. These are addresses that our DHCP server won't distribute to hosts, addresses that we want to keep reserved. This is actually not configured in DHCP mode. It's configured in global configuration mode. So, exit. IP DHCP excluded address. Now we enter the first address in the range, 10.0.0.1, then the last address in the range, 10.0.0.10. .10. That will exclude all addresses from 10.0.0.1 to 10.0.0.10 .10 from being distributed by the DHCP server. Now let's configure the next DHCP pool. IP DHCP pool 20 pool. Network 20.0.0.0.255.255.255.0. Default router 20.0.0.1. DNS server 20.0.0.1. Exit. Now let's configure an excluded address range again. IP DHCP excluded address 20.0.0.1. 20.0.0.10. Okay, now one more DHCP pool to configure. IP DHCP pool 12 pool. Network 192.168.12.0.255.255.255.0. Exit. Okay, our DHCP server is now configured. Now, hosts in the 10.0.0.0 slash 24 network should have an IP address. I'll go on PC1. IP config slash release, IP config slash renew. This will make PC1 refresh its IP configuration. As you can see, PC1 now has an IP address and a default gateway and DNS server as we configured on our DHCP server R1. Now let's go to step two. R2's G00 interface has no IP address configured. Typically, we would manually configure an IP address, but I want to show you how to use DHCP 
to get an IP address for R2. We configured a pool on R1 with the 192.168.12.0 slash 24 range, and R2 will get an address from that network. Let's go on R2. Enable conf t interface G00. To make it use DHCP to get an IP address, use this command, IP address DHCP. That's it. Now let's enable the interface. No shut. There we go. We get a message stating that R2 was assigned a DHCP address. Exit. Step two is now complete. Step three is to configure R2's G01 interface as a DHCP relay agent so that hosts on the 20.0.0.0 slash 24 network can get IP addresses. Although R1 is configured to give addresses to the 20.0.0.0 slash 24 network, because the hosts aren't connected to the same network as R1, we need to configure a DHCP relay agent. The rule is to configure the relay agent on the layer three interface closest to the hosts. In this case, R2's G01 interface. First, let's check that the PCs don't have addresses in the 20.0.0.0 slash 24 range yet. I'll go on PC3. IP config. Once again, the IP address is in the 169.254 range, an automatic private IP address. Let's go configure the relay agent on R2. Interface G01. To configure the relay agent, we just have to use one command, IP helper address, followed by the address of the DHCP server, which is R1, so 192.168.12.1. That's it. Now let's go back to PC3. IP config slash release, IP config slash renew. And there we go. PC3 now has an IP address in the 20.0.0.0 slash 24 range, as well as a default gateway and DNS server, since our DHCP relay agent relayed the DHCP messages between the PC and the DHCP server. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.